Invasive species cost millions of pounds of damage each year, and there's a few fish that fall into this category in British lakes and rivers. Here's five of the most invasive. Starting off with the sunbleak, also known as motherless minnows, they're a small non-native cyprinid. The name motherless minnows comes from the fact that they would turn up in ponds after they dried up, which is likely due to birds dropping them in or eggs being carried short distances. Reaching only a few inches, they can form large shoals, taking up resources of native species. Currently they're found in a few patches across the UK, with a large amount being found in the Somerset levels. It's thought they came from the pet trade and were illegally introduced into many waterways. They tend to feed on insects from the surface and zooplankton. Our second fish is the pumpkin seed. They're a North American fish distantly related to bass. With their bright coloration looking somewhat like the seed of a pumpkin, they were popular as aquarium fish, but some were released into lakes across southern England and a few populations have sprung up. These small fish normally no bigger than the hand are predatory and feed on inverts and small fish. In warmer waters they can quickly overpopulate ponds. Across the pond in France they are very common, being found in most carp lakes. Next up is the Wells catfish. There are large predatory fish originated in Eastern Europe which have been spread by anglers to most of Western Europe. In England they are found across the Midlands and South, mostly stocked in carp ponds. Some however have been illegally stocked into rivers, which is where the issues can start. These fish can reach sizes well over 100 pounds in the UK, and at that size are eating waterfowl, mammals, and adult fish like barbel, chub and roach, which are needed for spawning. While currently not numerous in any UK river, they have turned up in the Trent, Thames and Severn, and it's only a matter of time before becoming fully established. The title of most damaging non-native, however, goes to the topmouth gudgeon, also known as a stone morocco. Despite being a small fish, around 8cm is a big one, they breed in high numbers, outcompeting native fish, eating their eggs, and carry diseases they have no defence against. Another likely introduction from the pet trade, they were found in many commercial fishing lakes until relatively recently and are pretty much eradicated in England now. This was a concentrated effort by the Environment Agency which had to use a poison called rhodonone to kill the little fish. The last fish on the list is a relatively newcomer called the Prussian carp or Geibel carp. It can be easily mistaken for occlusion, brown goldfish or F1 hybrid but it is its own species. They're found all over Europe now and the issue here is that they readily hybridise with crusions which dilutes the gene pool of these fish. England is one of the last European strongholds for crusions and worryingly Prussian carp have now been found in a few places in southern England. They lack the golden colour of crusions and have a less rounded head and tail fin. Well, that's the list of the five most invasive fish in British waters. Thanks for watching. If you want to support the channel, liking the video and subscribing to the channel really helps me out. But you can also donate to my buymeacoffee.com link and all the money that from that goes back into making new films for the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. You can check out some other videos in the links here. Also check out my website and social media, as well as the podcast that I host, the Bearded Tits Podcast. Cheers.